Hi, I'm Cheryl Ross with Take the Lead Dog Training, and today I want to teach you how to properly use a chain training collar. Now, this tool is commonly referred to as a choke chain. However, when it's used properly, there is no choking going on. So, you'll notice it has two loops on it, and all you want to do to create your collar is drop the chain through one of the loops, and there you have your collar. Now, um, to put it, put it on properly, you want to decide which side of you you want to teach your dog to walk on, the left side or the right side. Um, it does make a difference, and here is why. So if you want to walk your dog on the left side, you want to make the letter P with your chain training collar. So you can see how this kind of resembles a P, and when you put it on your dog, you want to make sure that um, you put it on that way because when you are walking it, you want to have the chain nice and relaxed. And if you do have to give a tug on the leash to inform your dog that they're doing something that's inappropriate, you want to just give a quick tug and you'll notice that the chain drops right back down into a nice relaxed position. If it's on backwards, you'll notice when you give a tug, it doesn't release. It stays nice and snug on the dog's neck. Now this isn't choking your dog out, it's not going to harm your dog. However, the functionality of the collar then isn't optimal. So again, if your dog is walking on the left side, you want to make the letter P. But if you want to walk your dog on the right side, you want to make the number 9 with your chain. And the same thing applies. You would just put it on like that and the functionality would work really well. So you also want to make sure with your collar that when you attach your leash, that is attached to the ring that slides through the loop. This is called the live ring, and that's the one that's active. If you touch or attach it to the other one, then nothing is going to happen and your collar is just going to stay like that. So those are just some simple quick tips on how to properly use your chain training collar, and I wish you the best of luck with your training, and if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a wonderful day.